How's it going everyone? My name is Jinji and welcome back to some Forza Motorsports 6. Now today we are going to be testing something. It's another little science-y episode. We're going to see which one is better in the quarter mile, all-wheel drive, or real wheel drive, RWB or AWB. How we're going to be doing this is we're going to be taking two cars and testing both drivetrains in each car. Um, obviously we've got here a Pontiac Firebird SD. Amazing car. Um, it's obviously real drive. We're going to be testing it. We will drive and then we'll be swapping it all-wheel drive. Then we'll be testing some sort of Subaru or Evo probably all-wheel drive and then swapping it real drive. And seeing which one is faster. So let's get on to building this car first. Now I'm going to keep a stock engine in here. Just, you know, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Everything works. But I wanted to keep the stock powertrain because, yeah, I'll probably... So, okay, I'll supercharge it. I was going to say I'm probably going to turbocharge it but mm, that wasn't possible and then i'm just gonna fully upgrade it um it should make decent power i don't really know honestly it's an older engine obviously 1970s i believe also everyone i actually got a new car today after saving up for oh my goodness look at how much difference the camshaft makes see this is this is why you sh a good camshaft just oh my, my lord but yeah i actually got a car today after saving up for almost six months um finally happened i am literally so happy um, once i hit 10,000 subscribers i'll show you guys i already have a video made and stuff but it'll be released once i hit 10,000, which is it's gonna be very soon because it's incredible how fast i'm growing um i'd also like to thank you guys because of that but um yeah you guys have really did really have helped me get this car and i am so happy now that i have it it's just ugh. It was, it was fun. I had to drive four hours to get it, but that's okay. And what's also okay is that this thing is making 850 horsepower. That's that's good. And also, it's making 860 foot-pounds of torque. It's making more torque than it is horsepower. I love to see that. Man, okay. Big V8s, I'm telling you. Um, so, yeah. Now, let's do some other stuff. I'm going to be tuning this, so I want everything I possibly can. You know, roll cage, all that stuff. Um, yeah. So I'm probably just going to fully upgrade this car on the stock engine is what I'm probably going to be doing. And then drivetrain fully upgraded. Okay, um, now, uh, most importantly, drag tire compound, obviously, and rear wheel drive all the way up. Like, look at how big that is just so good looking. Oh my god, I love that. It looks, I think it's got positive camber right now. What is up with that? Oh, um, and then maybe different rims. Nothing too fancy, but I want something a little lighter, maybe. Classic looking, but... Ooh, I really like that, too. And that. I, I like that, too. It's, um, it's, it's light, which is nice. Um, we have to tune it. So, um, I have gotten much better at tuning. Lower it around 28.5. I know that's not very realistic in real life, but for the game, that's the best you want it. For instance, if I went down to 27, 25, 0 to 60 is higher. Um, so, 28.5 is a very good number. Uh, make it a little bit more towards acceleration. You kind of have to test, just look at the numbers. In fact, that has actually made it slower. Now, I had negative front camera to make the to decrease drag. Same thing with the front angle caster. Um, I make my roll bars as stiff as possible. It's just kind of an opinion thing. Much. Um, and then ride heights, I usually go full on both. That helps quite a bit. And then also, I do stiff in the back and soft in the, in the front. It also works quite well if you do soft in, uh, soft in the back and stiff in the front. Again, just kind of per car. Um, but yeah, that, that really helped. It's pretty much all I can do, but it's much more than what I was doing last episodes, which was just <laughs> doing zero degrees camber in the back. But yeah, let's test this. All right, we will drive quarter mile. Trans Am, let's do this. Now I'm gonna try to careful on the launch. That was a good launch. Um, it doesn't feel the fastest, this car, I'm just saying. Just, it's not like a violent fast, but 9.8 is quite good. Um, yeah, cool, let's do it again. You get five tries. I'm going interior just so I know what... That was a good launch. Good shifting. And... Oh, 10 second. Okay, okay, 9.8 still the best. It's funny because in this game, sometimes if you lose traction just a little bit, it's better. So I'm going to launch it like 5k. Like, that was good. Like, I lost traction just a little bit, but not to a point where it's like 
not going forward at all. And 9.826 again. Okay. So yeah, see, there's there's like a happy medium. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap and I will drive, obviously, and then proceed to uh, fully upgrade the drivetrain yet again. Now for tune, I don't really know what else to do. I might make... All right, so I, I shorted the gears a little bit and it did help this time. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't help, sometimes it does. I guess drivetrain makes the difference on that. And then get rid of front camber. Um, okay, differential's locked. Um, make it a little bit more to the back, 70%. Should be good. Okay, let's do this. All right, all wheel drive quarter mile on the Trans Am. Oh yeah, I definitely got off the line quicker, that's for sure. And it feels just as fast in the, in the uh, straightaway. Um, oh, it's just a barely, barely bit, bit slower on that first one, but we have a chance to make it faster, obviously. I don't think it's going to beat it, because that launch, I kind of bogged down. You really banked the gears, which is crazy. Yeah, 9.9, .9, okay. Um, so I think it's more consistent. That's definitely something that I'm noticing. I'm, I'll be honest, I, I was, this is not what I'm expecting. I think I can still do it. Um. That was better. Launch. Oh, and there you go. Okay, 9.7. So, it's faster. All right, we've, we've determined that. Okay, so now we are in a 04 Evo 8. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna keep the stock engine again. Um, I'm gonna start with real drive because we started with real drive in the other car and I just, I just wanna do that. It makes it a little bit easier to edit. And then I'm gonna fully upgrade the stock engine, which um, I don't know, should, should, I'm guessing like 600 and 700 horsepower probably. Wow, um, it's actually only 564, so. Rip me, I guess I, I lost there, but okay, I mean, it's fine. It's still a good amount. It's uh, five times more than what my car has, which is now a hint. Okay, so I fully upgraded platform and handling, and now I'm fully upgrading the drivetrain. Now I am realizing I forgot on our last test, I will drive um, Pontiac, I forgot to make the front tire width all the way up, which would have helped. Um, but I guess, I mean it won anyway, so that's what I'm saying, so don't hate. No hate please. Um, and this time I'm only upgrading rear tire width obviously, because right now this car is rear wheel drive. I'll change it when we swap it to all wheel drive. And I'm gonna do a bad thing and put T37s on here, because YOLO, fuck the police straight from the underground. <laughs> all right. Cool, this car is ready. Um, I'll, ooh, ooh, I actually got such a shit to do. Oh man, the Forza thing actually looks good for once. Oh, whoa, this is crazy. That looks interesting. Oh, that looks so good. All right, we will drive quarter mile in an Evo. Damn, this thing looks so good. Oh, the turbo. Oh man, this thing feels quick. I like this. I like this thing a lot. Whew. 10.1, okay, I think we can do better because the launch wasn't the greatest. I, should, I think I need to uh, rev it up a little bit more. Okay, that was good, that was nice and fast. 9.86, and now we make it, uh, nope, that's the wrong swap, okay. Now we make it back to all wheel drive. And then we make the front tires very big. Nice. And the rear tires are still big, right? Yes, okay, cool. And now we can tune it. Oh wait, I need to fully upgrade the drivetrain again. Back to do that. Okay, uh, we'll drive Evo quarter mile. Um, it looks so much better when it's lowered. <laughs> All right, it feels good. I mean, it feels about about the same speed. Not too different. 10 seconds, okay. Um, 
I think the launch can be a little better yet again. It's just the launch. That's that's the quarter mile for you. Which is why I think all-wheel drive will win this. I don't think the launch was good enough there. It's just like if you floor it, it bogs down and it yeah. Yeah, I'd never really floor it off the launch. It's just it's so ugh, bugs me. You have to like hold it right above that red line. No. If I can't get this launch right, it's uh Yeah Yeah, ten point two. Man, it's not doing good. Alright, I think I was better. Finally. No, that's 10 seconds again. What? Wah. Wah. It's crazy. No. What the frick? What? What? Why? Why? There's... What? I'm giving myself more tries because I can't leave, the, leave it like this. It's not gonna do it. Yeah, what? 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 It's, it's, it's significantly slower with all wheel drive. Why? 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 I'm gonna continue the red, red line the shit out of this thing. What? See? Why does it do that when I redline it? Please, someone please ex uh, Evo, go suck a dick. It's not doing well because it bogs down every single time I try to lunge it. I don't know how I got an Italian accent during that little anger outburst. There's no way I can launch it to make it spin its wheels. I want to spin the wheels! Grr. Ten. Uh, I can't get it under even nine seconds. What is this shit? What is this? This is my last time until I just I'm done. I'm done. You'd think that not being able to spin the tires would be good, but no. Are you serious? Yeah. No. 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 This shit is dumb. This is dumb shit. All right. I'm trying this again. When I see it hit the 20 second mark. Nope, that was still 10 seconds. No, nah, I'm done. I'm done. <gasps> so, you may think we've learned absolutely nothing from this video because one car all will drive better, the other car all will drive did worse. But you're wrong. We've learned that it depends on the car. And you'd think that, especially for the Evo, all will drive would be better, but it's not. Like, I mean, it might eventually be, but with the tune I have and the thing I have, it's not. And that at least goes to show that. It's harder for the all-wheel drive to go better. Um, but, I mean, it looks badass. Like, we can give it that. So, yes. Uh, quarter mile, all-wheel drive, or real-wheel drive. It depends on the car. Test it on both... Test both drivetrains on your car. And if one's better, then use that. And don't use the other. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat in the description below. Leave any suggestion, suggestions or comments. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.